Excellent. Good afternoon, one and all. We are Speaker Insight, where we help speakers, authors, and coaches to build a portfolio on your terms. And it's a little bit different for today. So my name is Helena. And I'm Kelly. And we've invited a whole bunch of the Connection Hubbers uh, in to do this clarity and connection networking session. So it's a little bit different on the ground at the moment. And you, I got, I got unmuted too. How much fun can you have with Zoom? Um, so we are the founders, Zoom and I are the founders of the Connect where we've got over 11,000 people waiting and ready with juicy advice and opportunities, speaking opportunities with support and help from a background perspective. And really just the whole purpose of it is to connect professionals to the speakers, authors and coaches who actually want to go out there and change the world. So we're trying to make it a lot easier for people to go and do their thing out in the world. And this is our next foray in doing that, isn't it, Kelly? Yeah. So this is our, the, thank you guys. I know you're on mute at the moment. You'll come off in a second, but this is our new feature. We always launch a new feature when we hit a member milestone in the Connection Hub. And a lot of you have been asking for networking for a long time. So you guys are our test pilots for our first ever uh, Clarity and Connection event. And I know everyone's used to us going live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. in the Hub. And we're still going to do every other week our live trainings. But the alternate weeks will be these connecting uh, uh, clarity and connection sessions, which actually we're booked out until like the end of November. Right. So yeah. they are, we know that they're popular and well done for getting in early, you guys. So um, you can register to be in the spotlight like these lovely six people where you get a chance to promote your business to ask for a connection like, like an agent or a web designer or, or somebody to do a beta program with you in yeah. the Connection Hub, or you get to pick the brains of over 11,700 people at the moment. So if you're stuck in your business, you've got a question, you wanna get some feedback or some market research from our members, this is the place for you to do that. So um, these lovely people are registered. We'll put the link in the comments below for you to register and maybe claim those last spots that we've got these coming up for the year. Yeah. But the point is, is you guys are all going to be talking live. You're spotlighted. But yeah. all of our members will be watching this either live or on the replay. So we'd yeah. love to know if you're watching this in the Connection Hub at the moment, type in the comments, tell us where in the world you're watching this from and whether you're watching this live on the replay. We'll still want to make sure that these people get your ears and your eyes on their content. Um, so this is going to be pinned posts for the whole of the week. You'll get massive exposure, which is why you guys have, been, uh, have, have I'm sure, signed up to be part of the, the first ever one that we've done. So yes. let's kick it off. Well, so it's a very, very interactive session. So what we're anticipating and expecting for those of you who are either on the replay or indeed listening live, if you have a ping when somebody, let's say Jennifer asks for something and you go, hang on a minute, I know the perfect person, pop that person into the, the, the comments so that these guys can actually look at and gain the resources that you've got. It could be a link, it could be a, a name, it could be just a connection anything goes really because this is like a collective brains on the thing that you actively want so these brave souls have put themselves up possibly for a I don't know quite what I'm putting myself in for but I'm putting my hand up and that's what I'm doing so we anticipate that it is a very interactive session so we will read you out the comments that are coming in so you guys who are here you just focus Chill. on being here and being here for each you know and 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 doing your thing uh and breathing breathing if you're feeling a little bit nervous some people may well be nervous we don't know that yet but i guess we'll find out as we introduce you um, well, what, is, saying, what is going on so <laughs> what we really want to do is so money's comment yeah, like, what, what is, is going this on? today and so, <laughs> read the post above money read the description yeah. of the post so, and you'll see what's going on <laughs> Yeah, which really works. So we are really going to be responding to our um, our members in here. So um, I'm wondering whether we go for a who feels brave and actively wants to be the very first person. So let me talk you through a little bit about what's going to go on. Here we go. Looking forward to it. There we go. That's good. Nicely done. Nicely volunteered. This 
This is my trusty five minute clock. OK, good. So, uh, Nikki, I absolutely love it. So this is the trusty five minute clock. You're going to have five minutes on the clock to actively introduce yourself. Tell us your name and where you're from. Some of you are up quite early, I feel, uh, somewhere in, in, in this land. Um, and, uh, and then ask us, you know, whether, whether it is a connection request that you've got or whether it is a, actually, this is where I'm stuck and I'd like some clarity on it. Take your time to actively explain to us what goes on. I will, you've got five minutes and then we'll have five minutes to kind of put in our input either from the group here or indeed uh, listening to the people like Lawrence and Moni who are now going hang on a minute I'm part of an opinion thing here which is great um, and I will give you a one minute kind of heads up uh, just before the bell actually goes so that you know to wrap up your little story and make sure that you get that ask in. So in that last minute, make sure you get the, this is what I want to know about, or this is who I want to connect to, please help me out. So make sure you get that in before the timer goes. That's me all done. So was it an, a hand up for Nikki that I it saw? It was Nikki, first? yeah, and then Anastasia was close second. <laughs> oh, okay, good. So in that case, let's get you off of mute, Nikki, and I'm gonna hit the button. You need, yeah, ask to unmute yourself, darling. You, Nikki, you just click to unmute. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. There we are. Hello, Keep everybody. Going. It's fantastic to be here. Okay. Of all, as always, I've got lots of things I would like to ask for, but I'm going to stick with one. Um, but just to introduce myself, I'm Nikki Valance. I'm uh, the author of a relationship mystery, Pivotal, which came out just uh, at the end of 2019. Um, and I'm also a creative writer's coach, helping what I call closet novelists get from first word to finished book. I run a free Facebook group called The Lost Books of Lockdown, which is for new and upcoming authors who have struggled to reach their audience during this difficult time because we've missed out on opportunities opportunities to speak and to meet. Um, so obviously networking is absolutely key um, in reaching an audience when you've got when you're a new author. Of course. Um, so I have, I, I mean, I could go straight into what I'm looking for. I'm looking for opportunities to speak on podcasts or on lives with anybody who is involved in creating books i.e authors who do the same thing as i do which is interview other authors or people in that space um, who are looking for support to learn how to write and they've got perhaps they've set up a writing podcast um, i want to connect with as many people as possible in that space because my mission is to help the people who've got that book inside them and are scared to even admit it to find out that it's actually not that difficult and there are some very, very easy ways to get started. Um, and I, that's my mission is to tell people, just get out there and do it. You don't have to give up your job to become an author. I probably wouldn't even recommend that you do because you don't <laughs> necessarily make money out of it straight away. Um, but if you've got a, a message or if you've got some creativity inside you that's sitting in there and, and, and being, um, it's not being your talent is not being shared with the world and it should be and you know as an as an individual if you've got the opportunity to use that outlet and you can't use it at work actually you'll just be more satisfied with your life so i'm all about ikigai and making sure you find your purpose and enjoy what you do life is too short not to love it perfect so we will open up to the people that are on zoom if you've got any suggestions for nikki just unmute yourself we will um oh jennifer's already written in here so uh so jennifer do you want to um come off and, and actually read that out do you want to come off mute um hi nikki i am a nonfiction writing coach and i frequently get asked about can you help me write my novel yeah and my answer is no I, i've written one very bad novel and i hated the experience so i would love to have you come into my group because even though it's called entrepreneurs writing club we've got a lot of fiction writers in there yeah interview you you can absolutely pitch your group while you're in there. And um, I am eventually going to launch a podcast. So I'd love to interview you there too. Fantastic. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Perfect. So Nikki, and, when we come off of this, yeah. can you put the, the, your Facebook group in? And Jennifer, yes. can you put your Facebook group in yeah. the comments? Because people watching this might just want to be part of your groups too and, and join that. For sure. Um, I know I've tagged you, Nikki, about five minutes ago in a post yes. in the Connection Hub where someone's yes. asking for people and um, 
maybe Jennifer, I think you might have been in there as well, where they're asking for someone to speak at their five day challenge. And I think, uh, Nikki, you also grabbed an opportunity recently to speak at Abu, didn't you, from this? I did. I did. Lucy. Yeah. And she, in fact, what we did, we double headed it. So her live show is always on a Friday. And every month I have what I call a book expert. So Jennifer would be, you'd be more than welcome to be on another one of my shows because I have two shows, one where I'm interviewing authors and one where I'm interviewing experts in the publishing world. Um, And I do that one once a month on a Friday. So they clashed. So I said, okay, don't worry. I'll shove shove mine forward a bit or back a bit and I'll come and do (laughs) yours. And then we'll literally stop yours and start mine. So we did two hours of talking about books and writing and it it was really, really good love that so i so i've just tagged lucy makara uh, sort of in here so when they say a boo we mean a book of one's own yeah and there's a beautiful group that actively goes on in there so we're not doing kind of weird speak here i'm just kind of trying to <laughs> a little bit in there and, and saying these are some of the resources that you can actually do what i really want to point out is 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 the synchronicity and this is partly what kelly and i buy into a lot the synchronicity of people coming together and the perfection of all of that happening in the way that it actively happens so literally within the first minute we have a a double joint connection there so i I do enjoy that and i want to highlight that anyone because we have new people join connection hub on a daily basis so anyone that's looking for opportunities to speak on podcasts on stages get pr always search the hashtag opportunity in the connection hub or go to the topics opportunity we have over thousands of potential opportunities for you to apply for so always use that on your radar when you're looking for stuff and yeah. um, anyone else in the group that wants to add anything to nikki's request anybody know yeah shiggy no am i muted now no you're good <laughs> Sound expert is on uh, unmuted. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's it's the microphone's been weird today. Um, just I'm just putting it out there, like with the side of audiobooks and creating an audiobook. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you do this, but like people kind of speaking out their book first is a technique some people use. Um, and like I'm I'm not I haven't got a podcast out yet because I'm planning it quite meticulously but I definitely want to kind of have people on who don't just do business books like they do, you know, novels, just everything because everything has scope to be an audio something. Um, So definitely putting my hand up for, you know, having a chat and just kind of seeing how we can work together. Brilliant. And we're in the same, we're in Abu too, both of us. Yeah. Yeah. Crossing over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the book is uh, is two, nearly coming up to two years old, and I'm having a whole sort of celebration of that with all the authors that I've been interviewing. Um, but actually, in my mind, it's not two years old because we've had this whole 18 months of what's been going on with the world. So really, it's now that I'm celebrating it's there, and I'm right. trying to make sure that as many people who want to read it can read it, um, and to encourage people that if I can do it, then they can do it too. There's no reason why you can't. And just really quickly on that, because I know that obviously we we coach Nikki in our Changemaker Central group. Um, one of the things that we suggested to you was the pigeon post side of things. You yes. just want to tell people that maybe listening that our authors well, themselves yes, about. Yes, that was a very interesting experience. So Pigeonhole are um, an oh, online home. book club that uh, members of the club don't have to pay. You just sign up and then you get to read books um, on ebook form in a serialized form, one per day. Uh, for 10 days and you can interact as the author you can interact with the people who are reading the book um and I think you have to kind of be fairly thick-skinned um (laughs) because obviously the point is that some people wouldn't necessarily read your book or your genre and they're giving you their their sort of immersive experience and, and and their thoughts about it um plus a lot of them want to ask questions about the the twists which of course you can't answer because otherwise you give it away Um, but at the end pretty much all of them a lot of them actively um gave me reviews so if you're looking for reviews Reviews. particularly if you are looking for feedback and you can do it with a book that's not been published yet as well um it does cost some money but you know you can negotiate if you're doing it as a self-published author you can get a really good deal or you can just put your publisher in touch with them um, it's a great way of actually getting real-time feedback from people. 
Sure. And launching with reviews is one of the things that really helps when people are launching a book because that's what that's what counts. Absolutely. So I think comparing it because there's another thing you can do, which is um, your publisher can put you through to um, oh gosh, what's it called? Uh, NetGalley. Mm -hmm. uh, normally they pay for that, or you can pay for that. Um, I think it's better than that because that's mm. anyone can sign up for it. They can get your book. They don't have to read it. Um, and then, you know, they might give you a review if they can be bothered because it's not so interactive, whereas this is actually genuinely yeah. kind of enthusiastic, avid readers who want to read. Um, so you have to take the rough with the smooth. But it was it was a really interesting experience. I learned a lot from it as well. Brilliant. So people watching live, and there's some of you watching live, lots of people will watch this on the catch up. Keep the conversations going. If you've got a podcast, put the link into the comments tag Nikki in there we'll put everyone's names we'll put them up in the comments but so you actually know who they are um when we've edited this live but just any links any recommendations keep them coming when this live is finished yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a juicy resource for all sorts of people so Anastasia have I said it right excellent wonderful welcome to this wonderful clarity and connection networking session who are you and what is your ask Okay. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Anastasia is my name. There are many ways to say that uh, because my native language is Russian and it sounds completely different anyway. Uh, I live in Sweden and I'm a, I'm a language coach and I organize online summits uh, around traveling and uh, communication worldwide. So uh, I'm helping people to create a lifestyle of adventure, joy, and connection worldwide. So currently I have a summit for women who want to travel the world and stay balanced, connected, and wealthy while exploring the globe. Uh, and my, my goal is to inspire women to travel more and feel connection and uh, freedom. And also my biggest vision is unity on our planet no matter where we come from and what languages we speak. So this is also tied into my language coaching programs that I'm doing. Uh, what I'm looking for, um, I have two spots for two speakers on my summit who can talk about uh, creating a lifestyle when, uh, you have, when you have money and time to travel. So talking about lifestyle money. Uh, I'm also looking for affiliate partnerships to promote my event. Uh, those two are primary at the moment, and also if uh, there will be a great place for me to speak, I will be happy to consider that. Perfect, cool. love nice it. Okay. okay, so I like it. <laughs> I had some I had some tinny noise with your um, sound, so I'm just going to reiterate for people that maybe didn't quite catch it, and, and if I've got this wrong, then let me know. <laughs> um, so we're looking for, for people to speak at an event that you're doing, two speakers who've got a space left. And ideally, you'd like them to be women who have achieved some fine uh, form of financial freedom, but with the lifestyle of being able to travel, have that encompassed within that financial freedom. So they've got that um, what do you call them? Not the laptop lifestyle, but you know what I mean? They've got choice and freedom on how they live their life. And then business or online business, something like that, yes. Sorry, say that one more time. Location independent business. Location, Location. independent business. Perfect. Okay. There is a group which I will have to dig out. I am part of it. Um, it's not it's like called something like the nomad entrepreneurs. I've got to go back, but there's like literally millions. Of, I don't know if you're part of it or not, but there are lots of people in there that um that, that will definitely be up for that. So I'll find that group out and I'll put it in the comments afterwards for you. Yeah, I, I and and um, one of the one of the people, one of our partners, Imogen Cook, is is definitely a she lives the lifestyle that you're talking about. So I'd love to connect you literally to her because I think that she would make a great person for your summit. So I'm just going to tag her right now. Lu and Lu Lu yeah, Lucy's <laughs> just said it's the digital nomads. That's what it's called. That's the group. So I'll also find the specific link. But that's a really great group for people to be in that want that sort of lifestyle that you're talking about. Yeah. Could you describe a little bit more about, um, well, these people that are, are, are with us today, maybe they've got some suggestions, but also the people that are listening in the Connection Hub. Could you um, describe that person in a little bit more detail so that people might, when you give people more context of what that lady would do, be or be talking about, that sometimes helps jog people's memories. Oh, hang on a minute. You're 
I can't hear you at all now. Can anyone else hear her? No. Keep, keep, keep going, because I think it settles in. If we're all quiet for a minute, let's go for it. I'm sorry. I was muted. Can you hear something? Yeah, no. Really have you got a headphone? Have you got a headset or anything you could put in? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. <laughs> does anyone in the group, while, while we're doing that, does anyone have any suggestions at all? Anyone think of anyone that comes to mind, a female entrepreneur, traveller, freedom lifestyle? Anyone? So I'm... I'm, I'm just tagging Imogen just to, to, to see what's what. Yeah, going so to. Imogen runs the Freedom Geek and she literally is in a different country every time I speak to her. But she also helps people uh, run businesses with VAs that are also, you know, run around the, uh, based around the world. Mainly in, the people are based around the world and the, and the VAs are based in the Philippines. So we'll tag her. Nikki, were you going to say something? Yeah, this, I'm just trying to remember the name of her group. Um, yeah, I've got it. Um, Somebody who lives quite close to me is sort of a, a, a friend of mine. Um, she runs something called Our, Tri Our Tribe Travels. Mm. So it's not quite the same thing, but it is definitely the same mindset. Um, she has travelled with work and with children, young, young children with her baby, and he's now grown. And they go, they go and find places where um, you wouldn't necessarily go uh to to stay and experience whenever they can so like half term they're not on a you know package or whatever they're just off okay how can we do this as effectively as possible so funnily enough she doesn't necessarily have the the, the same amount of financial freedom but she's got the mental mentality to say you don't necessarily need that to take your children and go and find the world um mm -hmm. and she's built up an amazing group within six weeks she had something like six thousand members um, she got great PR. She's, you know, she's been involved. She's been awarded things for sort of travel journalism and all sorts. So even though it's not exactly the same, you should, do, you know, I would, I don't know whether she's in your group. I need to try and invite her actually. She probably <laughs> someone you should know about. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, I would love to connect with her. That sounds good. Right. I've also just in the in the in the comments, Han. I've just tagged Lisa Johnson. So I don't know if you know Lisa. Um, but she literally is always in a different country whenever <laughs> she's on Facebook. I think she's just off to the Maldives in a couple of weeks. But yeah. she teaches um, financial freedom and success, not specifically for women, but she, I know she's got a, a large women uh, audience, but also she does that herself. So um, that's another lady that I think it'll be really good for you to connect with as well. And I've just tagged her in the comments. Great. And we've got people just coming in to check it out. It's all this. What's this new stuff that's going on right now? So we'll see just how this how this actually continues. Uh, I'm sure you'll get more recommendations as you go. But have you got what you need for now? Yes. Thank you so much. That is delightful. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right. You. So, and there goes my beepy thing. <laughs> uh, so who's next? Shiggy. Hi, Shiggy. Hello again. <laughs> All right. So, um, hello again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I run a business called AudioFi, which deals with audio production management um, across a huge soiree of things. Uh, the main one is audiobook coaching, uh, editing, production, production, and now slowly leaning into marketing, even though I don't want to, but I have to because I know what to do. Um, so <laughs> we've got that uh, on the side of podcasting. Same thing is coaching, um, editing and producing podcasts, managing podcasts as well, doing all the back end stuff. Um, and then the other side is audiograms and e-courses. So audiograms are all the fancy little graphics that you see that are anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute and a half. Um, to promote whatever you want. So you can promote your audiobook, you can promote your podcast, you can promote your course, you can promote whatever you want through that. Um, I do that. And um, the final bit is, is audio experimentation, where um, me and a few others are creating skill sets for smart speakers. And um, I, I was going to say her name because I have one and she's very, very attentive. It's the Amazon one. Um, oh, so no, we no, create... I haven't unplugged mine. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, those, those very tentative things that are in speakers, in our phones and stuff, we're creating um, audio estates for businesses. So wow. if they wanted to have their... 
their business within a smart speaker so people can ask questions they can create quizzes they can create really um engrossing in inclusive stuff uh we're experimenting with that so okay, that's Siggy, on that could just to elaborate right and we'll give you some extra time but yeah. it's really interesting that people now will say a i'm not going to say her name who's the local business that blah, blah, blah. And actually you're rather than SEO typed SEO, it's audio SEO, isn't it? That we want to be ranking for. And this is what you're helping people with. Exactly. Yeah. So um, a big thing that is, I'm already seeing happening with um, Google searching, especially is if people um, already SEO optimize, you know, specific pages. So usually the about page is what Google will pull up about something. And it will say the first, I think sometimes it'll just say one sentence. If it's too long, I think there's a character limit. Um, other times it will expand just to kind of like a big paragraph that it feels is enough to explain a business. Right. And over time, what's now going to be happening. And I encourage people to do is with your blog posts, especially to create an audio version of that because that MP3 file will get crawled by the robot so you know the robot.txt file that you sometimes see just kind of like dotted in your back end of your website those are evolving they're wow. developing ears imagine spiders with ears so <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, Suda, i know she's listening in, in facebook land she's basically and she's an seo specialist so that is voice seo is trending so you know she's backing you up on that yeah so and so go on I was going to say, and Nikki definitely wants to speak to you. So we've got another <laughs> little bit of synergy going on here. And you haven't even done your ask yet, Shig. I haven't. I haven't. Like, you know, so so this is the thing. So with all of this, um, lockdown has been great and a huge teacher um, in that I need to actually remove myself from the trenches now because I've been doing all the work. So I'm a sound engineer by heart, um, but I also love behavioral psychology. And those two things have been the entire lockdown for me, which has been great. But now there's demand now i need to formally put myself in the director's seat um and kind of like delegate so i already have subcontractors i have sound engineer subcontractors i have motion graphic subcontractors i'm getting more subcontractors but my ask today is i'm looking for either um technical vas and when i say technical it is audio specific yeah. not web design um, web design I've got down that that's fine I need VAs who can help with the management of uh, podcast management and audio management if not a VA then a project manager I'm happy to go for a project manager who can handle um, time scales and timelines for audiobook production uh, podcast management when new people come in because I'm about to launch a podcast network um, which I can expand upon at some other time and with the AI um, experimental stuff that it's such a big level play um, that it's going straight to corporate because the amount mm. of time and investment that's required for voice AI is not something that the average Joe can quite afford <laughs> at the moment. 100%, 100%. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm looking for either a project manager or um, a VA or both. I'm, I'm more than happy to invest in both right now because that's how big things are about to just pff, blossom. Perfect. So I put a there's one person I've tagged in the comments, Matthew Hughes, who's um, oh, I know him. the king of video, right? But he's yeah. also, I, think, I don't know if it's a team member or his wife or something that started to start do quite VA, quite tech VAs and, and actually um, putting them out. I know he's created a directory in his group recently as well. So I just tagged him to see if his tech VAs would do that level of, of detail. Yeah. Um, Kalani, were you going to say something? Uh, no, I was just going to say, so, so Shiggy, there's, there's also a, if you've got a spec, if you actually know what, what you're wanting, obviously inside the connection hub, put a hashtag call out out as well as this, because that's going to get you what you need. We okay. highly recommend. And I think for those of you who've been around for long enough, the more detailed you make your call outs, the more detailed you make your opportunities, the easier it is for you to filter and sift on what you get, because 11,700 people is a lot of people to have eyes on your stuff. And really, you don't want to be wasting your time looking through that. So the recommendation on a, on a hashtag call out is, or an opportunity when you're putting those out there, whether you're asking for podcast guests, etc., is definitely make them as specified as you can. So, so Shiggy, you know, pop your project management and your VA, your tech VA um, spec out there just so that people so that you don't get time time wasters in, in your time wasting. Perfect. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So there's uh, the other person that I just thought of that I'll, I'll um, tag you in. So she's also in a cha in Change Makers is um, Kelly Marie West. Yes. 
Oh, because yeah, obviously she to. yeah she runs all the obms project managers va that type of thing as well so i don't know again how level of the tech of hers but i will tag her in this as well but she's yeah. um funny enough she she actually fixed my brain um because <laughs> uh, <laughs> i say fix my brain she she helped pull out all the sops for me um really? with everything that i do because i don't know if anyone else gets this but you're like i'm too perfect and i'm a genius and no one can replicate what i do and she was just like okay this is what you do i'm like ah oh, crap it's replicatable <laughs> <laughs> no excuses now <laughs> but, but shiggy but, but shiggy what's happened as a result of that is everything that you actually introduced yourself with is what's coming out because as soon as you become replicable actually you can outsource some of that stuff and grow the empire that little bit more and actually begin to make the difference to the hundreds and thousands that you need to make a difference to, which i think is what you've learned right very much so very much a bitter spit a uh, bitter pill to swallow but for I sure so who know, wants to come off mute who wants to chat to shiggy and suggest anything or ask anything yeah yeah tony well, it's, it's not directly related to what you just asked for, Shiggy, but I'd, I'm wondering if you know Warren Cass. Yeah. Uh, no. He's in the hub. <laughs> what did they do? Well, he he's just knows like millions of people and, and, and he, he knows a lot of entrepreneurs. He runs a few mastermind groups and with a lot of different entrepreneurs, many of whom are writing books and are in the need of audio books as well. Mm -hmm. So he may be a useful connection. So I, I can connect you to him later. I've just tagged him. Yeah, you and I both. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's that's amazing, Tony. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, it's good. Any questions for Shiggy in the 52 seconds that she's got left? We're, we're, Shiggy, we definitely have to speak, but I just want one question. You mentioned that, is it predominantly that most of the people whose audio books you have been involved in have been business books so far and that you want to do more non-fiction i mean sorry fiction uh it's i've i've done one autobiography <laughs> which took a long time but it was it was the best thing ever i took that as a personal project because i just i just needed to know what it was like um but for the most part because of the way things turn around uh business books are the most efficient kind of turnaround strategy for me because i had one client who did a book every two months so they would write the book, they'd record the book, and um, it will be published both as an ebook, physical book, and audio book. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, yes, both, all of them, all the things. <laughs> okay. All of the things. I think there's, uh, so Susan's saying how super, which is really good. All right, Shiggy, have you got what you need? I have, thank you very much. Keep oh, the connections and comments coming, guys, whether you're watching this live or on the replay, put all of your links in for these ladies and, and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that. That's where it happened to fall today. So we have Jennifer, Haley, or Tony. Who's it going to be? There it is. Thank you very much. Hi, oh. welcome. What time is it with you? Good morning. No, I'm in corner. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Uh, the light's weird because the light's weird in this room, but um, hello, I am Jennifer Jones and I'm a, write a writing coach. As you can hear, I did not grow up anywhere near Cornwall. I'm from Oklahoma, but I've been in the UK since 2007. So yeah, this is home. Um, I have been teaching writing in one form or another since 2001. I trained to teach it as part of my PhD at the University of California at Davis. And if you hear a cat in the background, she's fine. She's just 20 and increasingly vocal. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> he's from California. Um, <laughs> but I, um, my book came out in, in 2020 in May. It's called, There's a Book in Every Expert, That's You, How to Write Your Credibility Building Book in Six Months. And like Nikki, it doesn't feel like it's really been out because, you know, the world didn't cooperate. I had a lovely launch party planned, complete with cupcakes with book to or book shaped toppers with my Oh, cupcakes. nice. <laughs> and, you know, then we couldn't see people. So, um, yeah, I'll do a, a two year relaunch thing when uh, things are calmer. But mm. I am relaunching my um, 
course, which is also called There's a Book in Every Expert. Up till now, I've always run it 100% live, and that has been brilliant for me, getting lots of feedback and finding out what kinds of questions people are going to have in the workshops. It has been less brilliant on trying to schedule meetings that people from the four corners of the globe can get to. So I am recording the, the workshops and then okay. holding a fortnightly coaching calls. So I will be relaunching that. Uh, I think the cart opens in mid-October. The first week of October, I am running a free workshop series called Think Like an Author, where we will start with two days of owning your expertise, a day of finding time to write, a day of uh, looking at how you've dealt with setbacks to um, think about how you can use that to help you commit to your writing pro process. And then on the final day, we'll do a skills audit. So we'll look at the, all the skills that you need to actually get a book out into the world, because it's not just writing it. And um, <laughs> decide whether you, you know, if you've got them, you, you want to learn them or if you're gonna outsource them. So uh, I would love help getting the word out about that series. Perfect. So we after this as well, if you can put all the links to the, link. the course, the 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 the, the five day thing, the and book. The before your group and everything, you guys get to promo and put as many links and comments and just job descriptions, whatever else, in the comments yeah. of this, so yeah. people can watch this. And so, so you you also have a group, Jennifer, don't you? Um, yes. Yeah. So. Uh, because 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 you were part of our grow your group challenge, I think. So yes, yes. Yeah. Um, it's called the Entrepreneurs Writing Club, right. and we support all sorts of all of the writing you have to do for your business, from tweets to books. Uh, and we haven't restarted them because I still don't know what my schedule is going to be this term. My husband doesn't know what his teaching schedule is going to be in that. <laughs> anyway, um, the. Every week we have a couple of co-writing sessions where you can come write your social media posts, work on your book, whatever. We meet in a, a Facebook room and write together. And um, I also bring in experts to talk about right. how they can help you with Perfect. writing. Perfect. So if people can tag anyone that they think they know wants to write a book, but maybe doesn't know how, or doesn't have the confidence. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit in that time again, if anyone's got any suggestions, then please either write it in the comments or come off live if you're here. I know that um, Sarah's just joined us. Nice to see you, Sarah. Um, what would you say is the most, if somebody who was an entrepreneur who wants to write a book, give us a little bit of a, a, a reason why they should at least do your first program of understanding, you know, you said those five days. What, what is it, why is it beneficial for an entrepreneur to have a book? Because you get clearer on what you do and why you do it in that process than any other process. Nice. And it, it forces you to own, and especially if you go through with writing it. When I, whenever I printed the first draft of my book and felt the, the physical weight of how much I knew about writing, mm. I'd been teaching writing for 18 years by the time I did this, um, I was still surprised how much there was. Yeah, and, I love that. Yeah. So. I think so many people that we've seen go through that process, they've created their own IP from processing what they do naturally into words. And then they go, actually, this is unique. This is my process. And I've never been able to articulate it before or trademark it or market it in that way. So definitely seen a lot of people who have gone through that and have benefited that way. Even, you know, then you have a book at the end of the day, which is a, another great resource for your product line. So anybody here want to suggest anything for Jennifer or anyone or tag anyone? Uh, Jennifer, just to say, the course that you're uh, relaunching, um, I don't know whether you're at, at the point where you can do this um, as an offering, but I'm doing a creative writing course at the moment with Curtis Brown Creative, who are the agents who've got their separate sort of learning platform. And um, we're all from everywhere. There's people from Melbourne, there's people from the States. Um, the teaching isn't done live, it's done by video and via notes, and then you have tasks to do which you can click on. So it's very much like um, the courses that you guys uh, yeah. run. Um, but what they do have is a live forum, so we can post up our work and we can talk as participants, we can talk to each other, and then the tutors will look at a selection of what we're saying. Um, so what that does is it, it it makes your hours obviously then multiply out because you're not having to physically be present 
Um, and it doesn't, as a participant, it doesn't feel like I'm not getting access to the tutors. It just feels like I'm in the community of people. We're all in it together, all learning together. So I don't know whether that's something you're able to do, but that definitely works from a participant point of view. Thanks. I'm not sure how that would work on my platform, but I'm, I am going to have a dedicated Facebook group that we could kind of use the same way where they could. And, and speaking of the Facebook groups, um, certainly, and, and you'll know this from the groups that give and grow, um, you know, from, from, the, from the challenge in, in and of itself, rather, um, highlighting where are my, you know, who has my customer before me and after me? Where are those people that are actively doing that? So there might be some going back and looking at what are the groups that I'm actually in? Where do they allow me to promote? How do they actually do that? And just updating where you're hanging out and where your avatar is actually having it, hanging out, because there are many groups that have days on which you can do promo. So act actively making a list of those and seeing those, right? Tony, you had a suggestion or a question or a comment? <laughs> Yeah, a suggestion. I don't know if you're if you do any speaking, Jennifer, but there's um there's an organization called the PSA, the Professional Speaking Association, who have a number of regions around the country. And as you probably know, most speakers need to write a book and most of them are looking to write a book. And so it will be if you were able to if you became a member of the PSA, you can then speak at the different regions. And at every region, there's an average of 20 or so people at those meetings, many of whom are thinking about writing a book. So that could be a good avenue. Yeah. Mm. And you've got the NSA, which is the National Speakers Association, which is in, in assignment with the PSA. So the PSA are UK based, with which you said, Tony. And we've got lots of um, members and chairmen and people like that within the Connection Hub who are who run their own PSA chapters as such um and uh yeah the, well you, the change makers would have seen that we interviewed michael dodd about a year ago back in the platform as well so yeah i think that connection of experts or speakers who want to write a book they are your entrepreneurs as helena was saying where to to find them out but as as we carry on going keep on tagging keep on putting links in of places where either jennifer can promote if you have a day in your group that she could promote in then put the link to the group in there <laughs> or even do a little facebook live who knows right little interviews do do the tricks so we have two of you left Haley and tony who's it going to be Haley's going in look she's going in yes <laughs> I, I, I can see I, I, tony's I, reluctance there no. <laughs> right. um, i'm really nervous today i don't know why <laughs> when i signed up i was really bullish and i thought yeah I'd be fine with you know helena and kelly and i'm feeling really nervous <laughs> Um, but it's I'm Hayley. Like right. <laughs> um, I'm Hayley and I am the founder of Emotion Mind Connection Therapy and the creator of Emotion Mind Dynamic Programme. My programme helps adults and children and families with overwhelm associated with mental health like anxiety and depression to be able to help them overcome that overwhelm so that they can find harmony within themselves and find their happiness again. I'm currently working with Bangor University and Cardiff School of Medicine on a paper on the evaluation of my programme, which is really exciting, but it is really, it is such a steep learning curve. Um, it's been really great to find out more about my business and actually more about what people want. Um, and as Rishi told me recently, I'm probably more successful I've been in my business than I ever have been because of how many referrals I've had to this. So I'm not looking for any professionals at the moment. I have enough of those on my plate, but I am looking to work with anybody who is or has been struggling as an adult over 18s uh, with anxiety or depression or who is in that cycle where maybe they're feeling better now, who would like to do something online with that additional support as well. So you, the package is the online programme, which is 31 units, is a really comprehensive programme. It is not a tick box exercise. This is not something you're going to walk away from after a few weeks and, and think you're better for a couple of weeks. This is something that I've planned and, and designed to work for people long term. So you do need to be committed and you need you need to be at that point where you're ready. And you get additional support. You get one to ones with myself and you get WhatsApp support and email support as well along the way. So, yeah, if you are in that position and you're looking for some kind of different thing than what's out there already, give me a shout. Let me know. Excellent. And, and is this something so 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 just so people have clarity around who they could recommend, you know, 
is this something that I could recommend to a friend? Because you've obviously got an audience here. So, so you know, getting really clear on who that avatar is, who is the person that would be perfect for this? Um, just helping us really know who that person is. Yeah, this is so it's adults over 18 for this particular programme and it's people who have been through or are currently struggling with anxiety and depression, but have got to a point where they are ready to do something about it, who are who've realised that they've tried other avenues, maybe they've had maybe therapies, counselling, they've maybe not been on medication for some time, but they want in something that actually works and, and has that long term effect. And I think that's probably um, most one of the difficult ones if you are recommending somebody get in touch if you're not if you're not having those open conversations with people already it's quite difficult to say I think you could do this um, yeah. but if you're having those open conversations with people and they are telling you I'm really looking for something that works I'm really looking for something that is going to help me um, then this is the program for them and, and ultimately this is not about it's not singularly about anxiety or depression it is about self-development this program is comprehensive in teaching you how to be you and how to know you and how to understand what brought you to this position and why you need the help now and then you know the the end of the program is all about building those those um sustainable skills in terms of well-being as well sure. so hopefully that's a little bit more clear that's great and I think you're part of my other group, Hayley, the mind hygiene group in there, because that's basically for entrepreneurs that are uh, wanting to have uh, good health, uh, mental health hygiene. That's what we call it. Uh, have healthy thoughts, but also for people that want to go and clean up their thinking. So then maybe they are um, high functioning anxiety. Maybe they are, you know, really struggling with COVID and, and working and all those types of things. So definitely do a post or a video in that group um, to talk about the fact that this program, I mean, the program starts soon, right? So there's not much time for people to sign up. Is that right? Is it in a month or so? Well, we've only got eight, nine spaces left. It's already oh, okay. started. So we've got nine spaces left. Um, mm -hmm. So we are looking to start. We have to get them started by the beginning of October. Okay. We've only got quite a small window because they've got to be finished so that the paper can be written in okay. time for the project to end in, in April, May, uh, March, April. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll pop that in. Perfect. So we're looking for people who have got um, over 18 avatars that are feeling an overwhelm. I know a lot of your people are parents because mm -hmm. they're working and they've got kids at the same time. So that creates <laughs> overwhelm in itself. Hands up completely with that one. Right. Um, but you're looking for people who are either wanting to um, access their emotions so that they aren't having the limiting beliefs that may be holding them back in their life or the fact that people have experienced some form of trauma and they're actually wanting to get to the root cause of that through this new type of therapy. The type of therapy you're doing is not your standard therapy that anyone knows that's out there. So, you know, connect with Hayley and discover what she's doing. But there are different ways to do this. And because you're doing this program with Bangor University, they're offering some people discounts. Yeah. yeah, there's a discount of, of nearly six hundred pounds, so it's down to two nine seven for anybody who wants to sign up. But there are there are options for funded if they if people are economically disadvantaged, so if they low income or if they full time carers are on benefits, there, there's a funded option as well for people. But uh, yeah, the the, the um, reduction in price. I, I and I know this is me speaking as the creator but I'm having some really good results. So you can bear in mind, I'm when I do a face-to-face, -face, so this has been running for four years as a face-to-face -face program, I have a level of input, but as people are doing it on their own, you can imagine my, <laughs> I was really nervous as well as excited, but actually I am really seeing the results from people oh. doing it online as well. So um, I was nervous, I didn't know if it was gonna work, but uh, it's good to know that it is, sort of doing what it was designed to do so that the right people are signing up for it brilliant so um yeah so definitely um put oh thank you jennifer you just put that we'll, we'll put that in the um facebook group as well so uh, jennifer's just said about a group here it's called affinity women's networking for empathetic business owners lauren hughes is the group owner encourages promotion and is happy for you to go live in the group to promote your offers sounds like a perfect place thank you very much for that so yeah 
Hayley, when we finish this as well, back in the Facebook uh, live feed, put all the links for people to register or to find out more about the program for you. Yeah. Um, and then people can apply that way. But yeah, we'll just be really targeting. A anybody else got any other suggestions before we move on to Tony? Anybody else want to come off and off mute and say anything? No, that's good because we've got 10 minutes left. <laughs> yeah. Kelly was kind of sending out the vibes there. But... <laughs> no, but, but yes. No, but yes. <laughs> But, you know, sort of, and, and again, the, the beauty of this is that, you know, this is ongoing for a while. So the chances are you may actually have somebody ping in at four o'clock in the afternoon and go, oh, now I need this, which is why we invite all of you to put your links in so that people can actually continuously kind of work with this um, as they're watching it on the replay as well. So, Tony, you've been a gent, ladies first. I think <laughs> you left yourself here. How may we assist you? I'm going to pop the timer on. I was actually saying uh, ladies first with my mute on, so you couldn't hear me. So, <laughs> um, and, and following on from, from Hayley, actually Hayley is a guest of my podcast, which is published next Tuesday, this about 12 o'clock next Tuesday. So you'll find out a lot more about Hayley if you listen to that. So you can put the link in the comments when we're done. <laughs> I can do, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm Tony Winyard. I'm a, an offset coach, um, offsetting health and wellness. So you hear a lot about offsetting for um uh what's it carbon uh carbon footprint carbon footprint and all that kind of stuff yeah so this is more about health and wellness so for example you might be having problems with sleep you might be having problems with weight management or whatever it may be so when you've got those sort of negative things then we can look at okay so what how can we offset that what positive um habits can we introduce that will offset some of the maybe the more negative things that are getting in your way and not helping you um and and the, the business is called disease free living um and i i i help people around habits as well it's really to to create and implement habits that will improve their lives in many ways and it's it's mostly people sort of between 40 and 60 but not just those age groups but it's, it's typically for people in in that age range who are they want to create uh, better habits that will improve their health, but they're just struggling for whatever reason. And so I just help them around the whole kind of habit creation. So it's predominantly about sleep and, and sort of, I guess you could say weight management. But then once people are on the program and it's a t I do a 12 week program, we look at other aspects. So including sort of breath work and movement and mindset and, and so on as well. Um, and it's at the moment, it's mostly an online program. Um, but soon it will be, I'll be looking at introducing back to face-to-face to -face because I quite like the sort of the live environment, but I haven't obviously, as, as most other people, haven't been able to do that for, for some time. Um, as for an actual ask, I completely forgot to think of an ask. Well, I, guess, <laughs> I guess my ask is because I, up to now, I've been doing a five-week program for the last sort of few months. Mm. And I realised, because I'm a tiny habits coach, and one of the things that I did realise is... The whole thing about tiny habits is making habits really small and you can't take on too many habits at the same time because it just it just doesn't work very well. If you just work on one habit, you're, you've got a much greater chance of succeeding if you're trying to do three or four at the same time. And when I was doing a five week program, I realized I was actually trying to get people to do too many programs, too many habits at the same time. So I've just changed it to a 12 week program. And, and, and I guess what a question that I would like to pose then is I've been thinking my mind and, and a guy was su suggested this to me that I can't really start this program till January because well you can't start it in October because you got Christmas yeah. in a way and then people aren't going to want to do that over Christmas and I was chatting to someone else yesterday said no no I disagree with that completely you can have a you could have a two-week break in December so in a way I'm thinking well maybe should I start it in in January or could I start it in mid-October or November? Is that be interesting? So, uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we all take oh. our, our, ourselves off mute and just quickly go around and say whether Tony should do it now or whether you think he should wait? And also maybe a one yeah. little bit of a description why you think that. Um, I don't mind kicking this off. Um, I, think, I think you should go with it and do it ASAP purely because even though there is Christmas going up, for me, that is the time where I've got more time to think and actually start to be going conscious about my creative habits and the things that I want to do, not just wait till January, New Year, that two, three weeks off at Christmas. I actually want to start embedding those habits then to then kick off the new year and not have to 
go straight away. So that's my opinion. Over to Haley. And Haley, you can give him a little testimonial at the same time because I know you put that in the comments. <laughs> yeah. No, I've I've had some sessions with Tony and, and um, I have sleep issues. My sleep hasn't changed per se, but all the stuff that we've been implementing with those tiny habit changes have been amazing. The changes are not necessarily where we thought they were going to go originally, but it's all adding up to health, health and lifestyle changes. So I was just going to say, in terms of Christmas coming up, I made some changes last year in September and they actually benefited me over Christmas. So I'm thinking if you start, you know, with getting people in now, if they are overeating at Christmas and, and that's something that they want to tackle, you start changing it now. And then you get to Christmas and you can still enjoy your Christmas with, you know, without having the, the overeating or the overindulging. And it, it, it I think, come then January, as people start to say, you know, January's new year, new beginning and all that stuff, people are already doing it. So that they, they you may well be saving the money in terms of the gym as well, because they may not need the gym at that point. <laughs> 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 love that Jennifer? oh yes. Hel Helena do you want to go I, I was going to jump just on the back of that and I'll, I'll, I'll be real quick um I'm echoing what everybody else says start now because here's the thing if you actually kind of teach people that mindset Christmas becomes the test you know because actually we want something that's out of the norm that actually tests us to the max so if I've had six to eight weeks of doing the program already Christmas even if you do decide to take two weeks off and some people may not choose to take two weeks off you could even canvas people at that point because they might want to continue the regularity and the small escape from the people at Christmas uh you know sort of like back into the safety of the group that they're kind of belonging to so I would really recommend that you actually do it because it becomes the how can I put into practice everything that I've been learning that actively allows me to really kind of hit the ground running so and people don't set a deadline necessarily they the enforced deadline of January is a oh, you know must do this but actually more people fall off the wagon at that point than people who actually determinedly decide right here and now and commit right here and now as we've been talking about to, to do it so I'm a do it now and uh, we've got Steve Beer who's interested. I, I don't know if he's interested in your programme or interested in interviewing you, because I know Steve does a, a podcast, I think. So definitely connect with each other. And we'll tag Tony in the comments so you can connect later. Jennifer. I would say do it now. In January, <laughs> people try to reimagine their entire life, which is the opposite of what you're wanting. So if they get those habits in place now, then you will save them from repeating the annual I'm going to change everything in gen from January 1st um, routine, which they inevitably fall off of. I, I would agree. I'd say do it now. Um, the person who said that he couldn't start until after Christmas probably isn't in the right place to start a program where they want to change their lives by changing their habits. So um, I've done it before myself. And I know that if I change the habits before I get to that challenging period, I actually enjoy Christmas more because I'm not thinking, oh, gosh, this is going to set me back because it won't set you back because you'll actually be able to take it in context of everything that you've learned about yourself. Um, so and Nikki, did, did you want to ask your question about creativity? Yes, um, I was going to say offsets. One of the things I saw a program many years ago where um, this young lad, had was it, he was excessively overweight and it was actually, I mean, he was very young, but he was potentially, you know, um, going to be fatally affected by it mm. and one of the things he did to manage his weight and by that point in the program I think he'd lost about 13 stones so he still had more to lose but was he reconnected with something that he loved which was playing the piano and it helped him not think about um food and all the other obsessions and it and it, and it made him feel like he had a purpose and enjoyed himself so I was just wondering whether you talk about reintroducing passion or creativity into people's lives as one of the things that, that that you do on your course yeah it's looking at various ways of offsetting the things that they know aren't helping them yeah so brilliant well maybe there's a combination for you guys to do something there as well with book writing right yeah um, you've got nick woods uh, in, in facebook land saying do it now um steve's interested in doing the program yeah doing the program and sarah saying new year is loaded mindset so yeah. shiggy what's your opinion hun Yep, exactly the same as everyone else. Do it now. Uh, when I used to be a personal trainer, I actually would market for people to start in October. 
Uh, I actually marketed people to start in the September because it's a lull period for a lot of people. Um, and my whole thing is like, what's the difference between now and January? January is really bad. Yeah. Like, you know, and I, I actually like prospect people. I'm just like, imagine what December and January is for you. They're like, oh, it's really stressful. I'm like, yeah, well, how's it like now? Oh, I've got time. I'm like, okay, so we set the patterns now. You get two weeks off because I used to cut people off on the 17th of December and be like, go have fun. All right, yeah. we're back on the 5th of January. So they get that mindset in play. And it's like, you've already done everything, right? You know what's what's coming, you know what to expect, you know how you feel already. So come January, you just, you, you already know. So it's just more of the same and like you've got that clarity. So start right. now, it's autumn, it's change. Like yeah. people are already mentally seeing change. So kind of feed into that. Love it. And um, Anastasia. Yeah, I agree with everyone. Start now because uh, Christmas is just an excuse and habitual thinking. And if you like, whether you're committed to making a change or you're committed to looking for excuses, so there will be new excuses in January. <laughs> so we've got one more emphatic. Do it now. Do it from now from Steve. Steve. I, think, I think you've got your answer, Tony. Right? <laughs> you've, got, like, you've got the clarity there. I feel that you actively need. So, um, go. Ahead. Anything else you want to say about that? I was going to say, I wasn't quite, you, you know, there wasn't a unanimous agreement at all. <laughs> so, it's, it's tricky, really. How delicious. Well, it, we're going to start wrapping this up. I'm actually going to stop the live stream in a second. I know that Kelly's going to put the link in. If you've enjoyed this, if you're watching this on the replay, please, please, please help these guys out by putting any links in, by making suggestions, by sharing what you know works that might help resolve something for them or indeed connect them to people that they need to be connected to because we would love that to be the case. If you've enjoyed this and you've gone, hang on a minute, I'd really like to do that. We've got spots on the last two of the year, but the rest of them are already full. So we look forward to in a couple of weeks time, uh, hosting another set of people doing this networking. Um, and, and really just a big thanks to all of you here. Get busy as soon as I, I, I'm going to stop the live stream, keep you in here for a second, and then uh, go in and populate it with all of your links. Kelly's just popped the link in to register to take part in the next clarity and connection networking sessions that are open and available which are like at the end of November and in December sometimes so we um, thank you very much for being our first time participants I'm sure that the week will be prosperous for you and our members will keep comments and links coming in and suggestions for you and um, this will be the top pinned post for the whole of the week and um, so you'll get lots of exposure and hopefully more clarity and connections coming your way we really appreciate you taking that leap and being our first timers yeah indeed so on that note, have a good, uh, effective, productive and efficient week, all of you.